Welcome in beautiful travelers. Hello, nice to have you. My name is Maria at Indigo Earth. I am here to do a general reading for Leo. Fire signs, Leo. You are ruled by the sun, self-expression, and egoic nature. Your dual nature is self-expression and ego. Your desire is to impress and your mantra is I will. I will. Leos are here, the courageous ones. The Emperor. Welcome in cross watchers. You may be connected to a Leo, therefore you are here to see what's going on with your person. Some of this message could be for you as well. And time is fluid, so anytime that you come across this message, you were drawn into it was a time that you were meant to see it. So you and I are working together. Our energies are resonating to bring you the highest message for the highest atone for you, the individual, as well as for the collective. So please use your discernment. Take what resonates. Use those intuitive hits. This is where you are exercising your, intu your intuition, your inherent nature. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit. And I will have an extended at the end of this video. We will dive deeper into the message. If there are any zodiac signs that come out screaming, I will look at those elements in the extended as well. And the link will be below. And... One more. Let's get a theme here for Leo, please. If you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow so that others also may get to hear the messages. That's how it kind of goes on YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for coming in today. All right, let's get a theme for you. Let's get going. Leo, what is the theme for Leo today? Theme for Leo. We got the Emperor. <laughs> That's fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. The Emperor. Taking action, courage, strength, willpower. Uh, the Emperor does things vary by the book. He is the King of Kings. Um... He is just, he is fair, but he is, um, he likes to win. Somewhat rigid in nature. Very kind of old school. One more, please, for Leo. Jumping out, please. Jumping out. One more for Leo. Or is that it? Nope, there we go. And we have the Prince of Cups. Um, that's the Knight of Cups. So could be moving forward in an offer of love. Uh, Prince of Cups could be about apology. Moving forward from a heart space. Doing something more fulfilling that fulfills you emotionally. Um, but the Emperor is all about taking action. Taking action, like you've made up your mind, you know where you're going, you're going to get there. You're not waiting for anybody else. Um, determined, very determined. So let's see where we go for you today. I just invite you to take a breath with me, clear the mind, open up the heart to receive the messages that were meant for you in this reading for Leo. Here we go. Your overall energy, healing, the star, wish manifestation, which is great to have right now because we have the new moon in Pisces coming up on March 13th. And new moons are all about um, setting new intentions, focusing on what you want to manifest, co-creating with the energies that are available to you, um, holding space for those intentions, like set them into the world, release and let it go. Um, and releasing things that no longer serve you. Letting go of old patterns, behaviors, um, relationships. Uh, things that just are no longer helping you on the evolution of soul growth. So your situation is the five of torches. Uh, five of wands. There might be some conflict here. Might be other people involved. Might be too many cooks in the kitchen all trying to stir in the same pot. Um... Five of Torches could be have, wanting to win, having to battle, 
having to stand your ground. So let's see, your opportunity is the Nine of Swords. Healing from something. This is about healing from something, something that has caused, had a lot of conflict in it. Because the Nine of Swords is about, um, that's the monkey mind. That's that repetitive thought patterns, um, struggle, strife, um, things that keep you up at night, can't sleep, anxiety, apprehension. Could be mental illness as well, depression. So let's see where we go. What the universe is co-creating with you, Prince of Swords. So this is the Knight of Swords bringing in some clarity, some truth, some understanding, a message of... Um, you know, the, the Prince of Swords is who are you authentically? You know, how are you showing up in the world? This could be a message to you. You could be getting downloads. Um, you could be getting signs and synchronicities from the universe. Energies that surround you that you might not be aware of. Ace of Pentacles, new beginning. Learning something new, something grounded, something stable, something secured. How this will unfold or the energies coming in. We got the Princess of Cups. So you got the, the uh, Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So this is working from a heart space. This is somebody who's very um, intuitive, dreamy, creative, psychic. Um, kind of works from that inner knowing. Energies that are fading away. We got the Ace of Cups. This could be about a relationship relationships are all relationships could be um a relationship you know a physical connection with somebody could be siblings could be parents could be relatives could be people at work um could be your job if you're really you know in love with your career but we'll see where we go with that how you're showing up in this situation queen of swords this is someone who's been through a battle this is air energy coming in uh, specific to Gemini, actually. This is someone who has gone through a battle. Um, they've taken all their experiences, all their wisdom, all their knowledge, and they cut through all the bullshit and they get straight to the truth. Not a whole lot of emotion there, but really kind of a truth seeker, looking for answers um, and getting them. What's right in front of you that you need to contend with? Okay, we've got the Princess of Swords. So now you've got the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. The universe is working on you with the Knight of Swords, and what's right in front of you is a Page of Swords. Some some kind of um, seeking truth, seeking understanding, looking for what's real, trying to find a message, seeking answers. This is intelligence, communication as well. Your hopes and fears. Three of Pentacles, so this could be about working with other people. This could be about um, balance. This could be about having to work with somebody else. Doesn't necessarily have to be in a work workplace. It could just be in a relationship. Could be about friends and your outcome. The devil, we got some attachments going on here. This is Capricorn energy coming in too. Um, so there's some kind of excess. There's some kind of excess going on here. Could be in a relationship, could be in love. There's definitely healing. It's a lot of monkey mind going on. Nine of Swords. Anxiety, fear, depression. Got conflict. Um, when the devil shows up in a reading, it's usually about some sort of unhealthy, toxic attachment. So, you know, this could be anything from addictions to, you know, working too much to partying with friends too much. Um, anything that takes you away from yourself, you know, emotional eating, smoking too much weed, um, you know, addictions, heroin, cocaine, um, alcoholism, gambling. Hiding, running away from problems. 
So we'll see where we go with that. So let's find out what this conflict is for you, Leo, with the Five of Torches. This is your situation. This is conflict. Um, could be too many voices, too many people giving their opinions, having to like defend yourself, competition, kind of those energies of like jealousy, strife, competition, arrogance. Too many. What is this conflict, please? One more time through. Ten of Torches. Carrying a burden. Something burdensome. Something that's heavy, dense, dark, heavy energy. Something that you're not letting go of. This could be emotionally. This could be overworking. This could be doing things for other people. We got the Queen of Pentacles. She's very nurturing. She's like the mother of mothers. She's very connected to earth, but she's also like takes care of everybody else. She is somebody who, um, you know, she's kind of the classical how a mother should be. Um, so it's something to do with taking care of other people. We got death. So um, this could be leading to some health issues as well. Maybe you're over giving, you're over compensating, you're carrying on other people's burdens. You have some kind of attachment maybe to drama or to having to fix things for people. And a lot of times when you're running out of energy or you're giving your energy away, um, that could lead to some kind of illness, some kind of dis-ease. Because depression also leads to illness. What the body absorbs, it's got to come out somewhere. It's got to come out somewhere. So let's see what the Nine of Swords is about for you. So just stuff, these are pointers to be aware of. This is a written set in stone. It's just to kind of like get you to maybe look beyond where you're looking right now. That's what tarot is. It's a symbolic language. It's pointers. It's here to help you on your journey. Maybe help you see things a little more clear, gain understanding, gain wisdom, messages for the soul growth. So the Nine of Swords, we have got um, the King of Wands, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, and we've got the Three of Wands. So the King of, the King of Wands is all about um, desire, movement, passion. Um, this is fire energy coming in. This could be about a relationship with somebody that you had hoped was like your stable relationship. The, because you got the Ten of Pentacles, you were hoping to go the distance with your person. This person, you may see this person as, um, somebody who is very fun, exciting, brings like, a lot of passion and desire to the relationship, um, but they can also bring a lot of drama and conflict. So feel free to swap around the characters. This could be you as well, um, or it could be somebody that you're entangled with because you got the devil as the outcome. So there's a difference between interdependent relationships and entangled relationships. <clears throat> King of King of Wands is like the knight in shining armor who kind of shows up and sweeps you off your feet and tells you everything you want to hear here, but their intentions more about lust than it is about love. They haven't developed kind of that love yet. They're in it for they're in they're in they'll only go into a relationship or a connection or any kind of like um environment if there's something in it for them. <clears throat> So this has been burdensome, whatever this is. And this could just be passion or drive to like have to fix everybody's life. So let's see what the Prince of Swords is for you. That is the Knight of Swords coming in. Again, that is about self-expression.
Prince of Swords, please, for Leo. Can I get the Prince of Swords here? So your theme is the Emperor. The Emperor is kind of the one who takes charge on anything. And you have the Prince of Cups next to it. So you may be the one in charge. It's doing everything for everybody. And you may be thinking that you're doing it out of love. And it's bringing in a lot of conflict. Might be bringing in some... Um, instability within the body might be attachment to having to like fix everything for people or the emperor could be because you got the fire sign king of wands could be a fire sign that you're dealing with as well or it could be you one more time please so prince of swords we have the sun we have the High Priestess, and we have the Nine of Cups. So trying to give you some clarity. The universe is working on you, trying to give you some clarity. Um, the Prince of Swords is somebody who is kind of showing up with a message of um, Kind of your aspirations are coming to the forefront and the sun can be about illusion but it can also be about clarity because when you have the high priestess next to it something's hidden the high priestess is very intuitive she's psychic she's kind of the um the guard over hades and the spiritual realm but she doesn't talk about it she keeps secrets she doesn't say anything unless she's asked so there could be some kind of disillusionment in love or relationship or what you feel is bliss or what you think might be bliss and maybe this prince or this king of swords whoever this is that came in this king of swords really is just a knight may have thought he was a king of swords and and the universe is trying to help you see clearly the sun help you see clearly as something maybe that you Deep down inside, you already know. And looking at this Nine of Cups, like, what is your bliss? What is your happiness? So let's get some clarity on... Let's get some clarity on this um, Page of Cups, how this will unfold. This could also be like a situation that started off very hot and heavy um, that did not have time to develop love. Like it was an immature love. It may have started out with passion and lust and, you know, developed maybe into, into like Prince of Cups. Like there is love here, but this is a page. This isn't like the king. So you had the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. This is like a page. And this could be why Ace of Cups, what you thought was the real deal, is fading away. So what is this Prince of Cups, please? <clears throat> Got the Page of Cups again. Yeah, immature love. Ten of Pentacles. And the moon. Again, so the moon is all about though the moon is about keeping secrets so you got two cards in here about keeping secrets two cards in here about things that aren't seen you may have thought that this love was the real deal this is where you're going to build your foundation um you know you may have thought this was your everything but it's it's immature love and if this is about you doing for other people or over expending yourself for other people um again you may think that this is out of love but it's it's an attachment you got the devil up here it's an attachment it's immature love because everybody's on their own journey everybody has to do their own work you can't do it for them lord knows i've learned that you can't do it for them 
um, you want to, like with your children, you want to see them thrive and do the best they can, but they're here on their own mission. And a lot of times we don't know what that is, but everybody's here to do their own work. So let's find out what this Queen of Swords is. This is like cut into the truth of the matter. Like she's slicing it all up. Got the High Priest. It's Earth Energy coming in. So Wise Leader. High Priest is Wise Counsel. We got the Nine of Pentacles. That's about building your confidence, gaining your independence. It's about kind of creating your own empire, working on yourself. And we've got death. That's twice death has shown up in this reading. So the Queen of Swords is about cutting to the truth. Really getting into, um, you got the Queen of Pentacles and the High Priest. So taking in your own counsel or seeking counsel maybe to help you through this. Um, because this is like giving up on yourself, death. Truth is trying to come in. Truth is trying to come into this situation because you got the Prince of Swords right in front of you again. So this is about Page of Swords. This is about coming into your authentic self. And you may see this as you are giving counsel, um, but you need to give counsel to yourself. Because death is, this is about overdoing it, overtaxing doing too much or taking on too much or absorbing somebody else's energy too much. So let's see what the Prince of Swords is here for you. You got the King of Pentacles, finding resolve, getting grounded, taking care of yourself, taking care of your own enterprise, taking care of your own resources. Maybe giving out too many resources to people as well. And in doing so, in doing this, you are losing, you are losing, you're losing yourself in the process. You may think you have all the answers because the Queen of Swords thinks she has all the answers. It's about mind, communication, intellect, coming maybe from a place of where you feel like you're doing good, um, but this is gonna, this is gonna stop one way or another because you got death coming in twice. Something has to be let go of in order for something else to rebirth. So you got the prince, what's right in front of you is the prince of swords coming in as your true self. What is your authentic self getting grounded? Five of pentacles. So there may have been some loss financially. Um, you may be feeling left out in the cold. You may come from a lack mentality. That's why you're maybe trying to help everybody else. But it looks like it's going to be a depletion of resources. And that could be what this death is as well. And the King of Pentacles is about resolve. He kind of sits, he's sitting really well. He has enough resources to go around for everybody. So it may have started out this way, but it's depleting. Five of Pentacles. Give me one more on that, please. Yeah, Five of Cups. Feeling loss. Feeling loss, maybe doing things out of from a heart space and feeling like you're not getting anything in return. Things are getting depleted. You're getting depleted. <clears throat> That's why your hopes and fears here, working together with other people, you might have done too much working together with other people or in a partnership, or this could be family as well. So looking at your attachments, looking, you know, if you're overdoing things, looking at your attachments, the universe, energies that surround you, Ace of Pentacles, trying to do, trying to learn something new, going into like a new way of being and doing. 
um, and this emperor energy, this attachment to this attachment to having to be the all in all, um, coming from a place of love. As I said, that's an immature love. That's like thinking about not seeing that when you come from a place of love, you allow others to have their own experiences and their own cause and effects. So um, in the extended, I'm going to look at fire sign showed up here a lot. So I'm going to look at fire sign and you got a couple earth signs here. So I'll look at um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and then fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. And then I'm also going to get a little bit more into this outcome with the devil, as well as the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to look at tendencies that need to be released and actions and advice for you. So the link is below for those of you that are going on with me. And for those of you that aren't, I'm going to send, give you, send you off with a message from your divine self, higher realms, a message to you. Listen in stillness. You will meet your true self. Do you hear that? It's the whisper of the universe asking you to listen. The loudest clamor doesn't necessarily correspond to our truest heart. Imagine a pristine lake. If there are too many waves disturbing the surface, there's your uh, conflict, you cannot make out what's at the bottom. But when the water is still, the image becomes crystal clear. In stillness, we get the rare opportunity to listen with another set of ears, quiet contemplation, mindfulness, meditation, and just doing nothing. All have more value in our always on lives. Everything is talking to us if we simply slow down to listen fully. In those subtle whispers, you will meet your truest self. This is the same one that's been talking to you all along. How can I cultivate the habit of stillness on a more regular basis in my life? So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this helped. Until next time, I wish you peace that passes all understanding. For those of you going on, the link is below. I'll see you there.